today. Polycystic ovary disease is a burning topic now. It's, it's very, very common, very, very common. They, why common? For I, I just tell you, it's really common. And we have been trying to uh, go into the matter deeply, finding the causes. Causes, I will just tell you, according to age group. And uh, treatment also, all age group doesn't need, I will just tell you. The polycystic ovarian disease, usually nowadays in girls, it's more because of the lifestyle they are adapting to. Earlier days, maximum girls is to be inside home, avoiding junk foods, understood? Working at home, working at home with ma mother or like helping out. Uh, and next is uh, less of rest. So. What happened is they, they, they usually their physical activity at home was more. And nowadays, the girl's lifestyle has been totally different. First is no work at home, even not outside. Only you are going to school, colleges, coming back, office, you go and sit, you come back, no physical activity. Second is mobile. Hours after hours, girls are with mobile. So you are sitting in one place. You are utilizing your brain, might be. You are, might be you are in good work. But you are utilizing your brain, not your, I mean, physical labor. Third thing is uh, junk foods. All girls, you see, nowadays, we previously hardly uh, say if there were 62 students in the class, two, three to celebrate birthdays or whatever. Nowadays, you see 60 out of 60, 50 are celebrating birthdays. Then you have other parties, you have marriage anniversaries, you have uh, part, uh, like uh, even marriage and other. So, in 30 days time, I think so, 20 days you are outside going for outside foods. And parties foods, you know, it's more rich, very rich and all, I mean, all oily foods and everything. Even Baharke Jaisa, you go for a, you go for a tuition, while back, chalwai pizza or uh, like momo, whatever. So those junk foods are responsible for this. Second, thirdly, I told you that activities. So no girls are being allowed, even I don't, I don't allow my daughters to work. So here, what is our duty as a parent? We have to at least tell them to avail any physical activity at least twice in a day. Maybe it's skipping, maybe it's dancing, maybe it's cycling, maybe it's walking, maybe it's running, maybe it's in whatever way. A one activity if a girl keeps is good. Now, the food habits. I told you one is junk foods. Second is parents. What they do? My daughter is going to study. My daughter is going to tuitions, so teen time teen mat jaldi bacha khana chahiye. The food should be a dum. It should be full with, I mean, all uh, spicy and all good foods. So this is one thing. So we tell our parents. I mean, we usually tell the parents when a girl comes with overweight girl, and not even if it's young, we tell from that very uh, age, we ask the mother to restrict her food intake. The food should be there should be actually titrated. I mean, food. Say we have a balanced diet for polycystic. We give a good breakfast in the morning. Even if the girl cannot stay with rice a day, we usually prefer rice in the morning. Because the girl takes that food and then she moves or she's whatever. She's going to the party, at least she's walking along. That gets replaced. But food should be uh, full in the morning. Noon time, it should be very light. Very light. Either with we, I say, give a dahlia or oats or some fruits or sprouts, whatever. Night, preferably. If you can, uh, we can give her some rotis and along with talents. The girl should be full. She should not be empty stomach. She should not be half stomach. But the only thing, curtain, carbohydrate, like rice, maida, potato, and fatty foods like oil, ghee, butter, maggi, ice cream, and chocolates. Now, uh, whenever, whenever a girl comes to show us, showing her weight, we can understand like she can have, there is a few more symptoms, not only weight. Like it makes my hair grow, there can be acne, then there can be uh, can versus negligence. We see that's black is discoloration. We get even if we level the cases, polycystic, we usually don't go for sonography until the age of 19 years because we know we will get once we get the girl becomes a bit like she gets tense. Keep what is happening in me, might be if she understands. Mother becomes more, I mean, tense, so that causes more problem in the patient. Only that we have to. Guide the dog, I mean girl and her mother how to I mean continue the lifestyle further. After the age of 19, we try to explain the girl. 
19 to 25, we have to be very strict. We have to see that she has been treated if needs, if needed. Or if we can change her lifestyle and we can bring back her to a normal normalcy, that's good. But again, polycystic, we have to tell one is obese PCOS and one is no PCOS. In obese PCOS, yeah, khana pan karo, then you uh, put on the like, exercise and everything works. But in case of lean PCOS, there we cannot restrict her food much. There we can restrict. So exercise helps. So insulin resistance is there in PCOD. So more of exercise, it uh, brings down, I mean, uh, uh, that insulin resistance part is taken care of. And so the PCOD might come down. Thirdly is um, regarding your, um, so 25. Till 19 to 25, I said, yes, we take care of. Because after 25, we know a girl can get married anytime, any moment. So if we treat her early, at least after marriage, she doesn't face problem of because one of the commonest cause of infertility is pissy. So we take it, uh, we take it uh, to our ear that we see that the girl at least doesn't suffer from that, at least that mental uh, trauma later on. And our explanation is that way that you take care, we are there for you.